I need to time my long arm sewing machine this morning and I wanted to take a few minutes to show you how to do that. There's a lot of information out on the internet um, on how to do it. There's The videos aren't real great and some of it's kind of confusing so wanted to give you kind of a straightforward how-to on that. This should work for really almost any long arm. This happens to be a Ken Quilt Royal which is a lot like a Nolting Pro but uh, this this hook is used on a lot of long arms and this process will work on pretty much on any long arm machine. All right, so I've already re removed my plate and my foot. You don't have to remove the foot, it just makes it easier. All right, let's get started. And the next thing we need to do is ensure that our needle height is correct. And we're gonna do that by looking inside the hook right here. All right, so we can see All right, so as I move the hand wheel here, you can see the needle go up and down. And you want to run the hand wheel back and forth until you see that the needle is in, all, in the all the way down position. Now this, you'll see different advice on this, but basically the eye of the needle that you're seeing right there you need to see anywhere between the whole eye, but no more than the whole eye, to half of the eye. And I'm seeing just the whole eye right there. Maybe, you know, it could be just a little bit more. So I think I'm going to adjust that needle bar just a little bit. So I want to bring this to the full down position right there. On my machine, there is a screw right in here that loosens this up. So you loosen that screw. And then make, make sure that your machine's in the full down position. All right, so what we need to do is get that eye to where we're seeing half of it. Okay, so that, that would be all of it. We want to try to get about half of it right there. Now also make sure that you've still got your needle bar turned correctly because you can get that twisted at the same time. Looks like I need to go down just a little bit. Okay, now I want to make sure that I am in the full down position. So yeah, it won't go down anymore. Right there. Okay, that's anywhere between half and all the way down. So I'm happy with that. Then you tighten the needle bar back down. And be sure you get this really tight. Now I might mention before you make this setting, make sure that your needle is in there and that it's in there all the way, that you have it in seated correctly or, or this won't be set correctly. So that's the starting point. Now we can move to setting the hook. Okay, so to adjust the hook, there are three screws and they're easier to loosen from this side over here. And we're gonna start with this one and we're just gonna back it off until it's just loose. Just loose. If you go to adjust it and it won't turn, you just need to back them off just a little bit more. And then we'll do this one last. Okay, it's a little too loose. There we go. We want it to have just a little bit of resistance when we turn it. Okay, so now what we want to do is bring the needle to the all the way down position and then start with it starting to come back up, turning, making sure you're turning the machine in the correct direction that it would normally sew. Okay, and then you can see here's the hook. And this is the part that we're adjusting to the needle. What you want to do is get it so that the hook is just almost hitting the needle. Some people will say you want it to graze the needle. And you want it to be in the scarf, which is this indention in the needle from here to here that's the scarf you want that hook as it comes around and first hits so that's a little low because it's hitting the bottom of that so i want to lower it down a little bit more and then i want this to come in a little hard to do around this camera i want it to come in anywhere from half to a to just above the eye of the needle. But mainly, I would try to put it just below halfway 
in that scarf. And that's pretty good, it looks like. All right, so with it like that, I want to reach back here and tighten that first screw and then work my way around, gently tightening them up. Then I'm going to come back around and I'm going to check one more time to make sure I'm happy. I'm going to back that up just a little bit. And the easiest way to do that, let me get this, get these loosened back up a little bit. I'm struggling a little bit trying to get around this camera for you. So it's kind of hard for me to see. But as it comes around, all right. Now I want it, yeah, it's hitting just a little high. So what if it's, if it's coming too high in the scarf, raise your needle up a little bit like that, and then just back your hook up like that. And then check it again. Still feel like I'm a little high, so I'm going to raise that needle a little more. And then I'm going to back my hook up. You may have to hold your, your hand wheel to keep it from moving. And that's coming pretty much right through the middle. Yep. Okay, I might be a little forward. Yeah, see it pushing that needle just a little bit right there. So I need to back up just a little bit. The easiest way to do that is just give it a little tap. Okay, and now I am just right against the needle, but I'm not bumping it. So we're going to tighten that up. Try one more time, make sure I'm still happy with that. Yep. And then we'll tighten the rest of them up. Let's check that one more time now that we're tight. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, one other thing you need to check is as this is coming up, make sure that your needle is clearing this as it comes around. If you've got it set incorrectly, your needle might come and pop, like this is pushing it that way. As it, see as it rides around, this piece of metal could push your needle that way, and you might see it pop up there like that. I've seen them set incorrectly like that before. Okay, so I'm happy here. Now, the last thing we need to do is set this right here that holds the basket in place because your thread actually as it comes around it goes through this space right here between that little nub that keeps this basket from rotating and this one's set a little tight you want this any anywhere from a third of the way in to half it's probably close to half but I'm going to try to move it out just a little bit actually it's pretty good so I'm going to just pull out on it I had loosened it up earlier. I'm going to tighten this up down here. If you've got that too tight, you'll have problems with your thread catching and breaking or fraying. All right, so now our hook is timed and we just need to put our plate back on. And our foot and we're good to go.
Hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.